Bidet TV, episode three, The Bidet, The Music Died. Hi everybody, I'm Steeler Jim, and welcome to the final episode of Bidet TV. Even though the show was critically acclaimed, the Plumbers and Pipe Fitters Local 33 gave us four and a half butt cracks out of five, and we were number one in our targeted demographics, single white male shut-ins age 61 to 80. The network executives, my wife, uh, decided to cancel the show. But she didn't allow me to finish the last episode as long as I was done by the time she finished her favorite uh, TV show, uh, Love After Lockup. So, tonight we're coming to you from my hall bathroom where I uh, installed the second bidet. The bidet, uh, the install was the same. Uh, it was just as easy as the first one, same parts. Uh, but there are some uh, differences, and I thought uh, tonight we'd uh, I'd show you this one, we'd go over the differences, and then we'd uh, answer some viewer mail. So, uh, again, we're a little cramped here, but uh, I think uh, it's important for you to see the second bidet. So, if you remember, the, the first bidet was very nice looking, uh, something you'd find in, in a European hotel. Well, this one's a little more industrial. This one uh, you might find in um, uh, possibly a meat packing plant or maybe a psych ward for the criminally insane, uh, that type of environment. Um, so that's one difference. But the big difference between this one and the first one is the power. It goes straight to DEFCON 1. Uh, this thing will uh, chip a tooth. So uh, the big difference, I think, is the power in the sprayer. I have the two, uh, two bidets, uh, what they came in in the mail. Again, if you remember, the first one uh, was called fin Fininje uh, Sanitary Wear. Very nice box, uh, made in China. And uh, as you remember, uh, it looked pretty nice. Uh, this one's Big John's. Uh, made in the USA, uh, comes in a plain brown box, um, kind of a no thrills kind of a, a, a deal. Um, so the difference is this one was more expensive and I think it looks nicer. This one uh, was obviously cheaper and it has more power. Uh, this one will make the lights flicker. So uh, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to switch uh, this bidet, uh, put it in um, my bedroom bathroom, and then put this the other one in here for the guests. Because uh, I don't think you want Aunt Sally to use uh, this bad boy, because um, she'll get the shock of her life. So, uh, so really, uh, if you're looking for looks, this is the best one. But for me, um, because of the power, um, I like I like Big John's. So. Um, for what it's worth, but you decide. We'll go to the nights. If you were male, we had a lot of uh, feedback like we always do, and uh, like we always do, it was mostly inappropriate. So, but uh, I'll read you some questions. Um, first one comes from Pastor Steve. Love the sh show, Steeler Jim. Do you know if there is a baptismal bidet? P.S. May Tom Brady burn in hell. Uh, apparently the Padre is a New England fan and hasn't got over uh, Brady leaving yet. But uh, Padre, um, even though I am an ordained minister from the distinguished uh, Rose Ministries out of Las Vegas, Nevada, I don't know the answer to that question. I'm sorry. But thanks for the, for the question. Uh, this was a popular question. Uh, Amy C. and uh, M. Hammer asks, so what happens after you spray water? Do you walk around with a wet butt? So that's an important thing, I think, that we, uh, for the last show, I think it's important to know uh, why, uh, why you use a bidet. So uh, it's about cleanliness. It's not about uh, not using any toilet paper. We're not trying to be toilet paper less. We're trying to use less toilet paper. Um, I know some people use the disposable wipes, but uh, even though they say you can flush it down the toilet, uh, 
especially in my house, I have cast iron pipes and uh, scale builds up on it. So the less uh, things I can uh, flush down the toilet, um, the better. So, um, so really it's not about saving toilet paper, but it's about uh, cleanliness. So I think that's a great question. And uh, I think that's something you should remember. Rich S from the Chief's Kingdom writes, what do you do with all the debris that gets on the contraption? Uh, obviously a, a typical Chiefs fan. Rich, um, this isn't a probe. We're not inserting anything anywhere. So if that's what you're doing, you're doing it wrong. But uh, that's really not an issue. But just like anything in the bathroom, if it gets dirty, you have to, to clean it off. But uh, I think it's uh, a user error more than uh, anything else. But thanks for the question. Um, before we wrap up tonight's show, I gotta make sure that I, I shout out to uh, three of my uh, most loyal uh, viewers, uh, Vinny, Skip, and Vern. Um, I appreciate all the unsolicited and inappropriate Instagram photos of you guys uh, uh, using your bidets, but uh, uh, to be honest with you, it's gotta stop. So um, I, I appreciate the, the, the support, but uh, you guys need to get a life. So, so anyway, um, that's it. Um, even though this is the last, uh, bidet TV, uh, I do have a couple projects in the works. Um, uh, this fall, I hope to, uh, um, I'm looking at, uh, exploring the, uh, the world of adult undergarments. Um, uh, when it's time to pull the trigger, um, it depends. Uh, so uh, the working title for that is uh, Diaper TV. So uh, if you like Bidet TV, uh, look for Diaper TV uh, this fall. Um, so uh, with that, I uh, appreciate everybody uh, watching Bidet TV. And as always, I hope you're well. Wash your hands. Don't touch your face. And for sure, have a great bidet. Epic.